live from Little Caesars Arena here in Detroit, Michigan. It's live from last week. Episode 114. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Like and subscribe. <laughs> Welcome my fellow Jew Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning after coming off my fourth night shift in four nights, looking at my mini today, unfortunately I saw something that was missing. No! Where did the mini's flag go? But guys, I'm very hopeful that I'll be able to go back to the store and get a replacement flag sometime in the near future. But anyways, back to a momentous occasion that happened on my commute last night, where the Mini hit the mileage mark of 120,000 kilometers. I was reminded this morning to go to a local place that I haven't been to in several months, just down the street to the good old Ryan's Express Lube to get my baby Mini a new oil change. So as I burn off some time and walk around the parking lot here, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of our former Airbnb hosts back in New Orleans. This birthday shout out goes out to you Ryan. Happy birthday Ryan. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And so guys, now with my Mini having its new oil change done, I'm gonna go back home, take a quick post-night shift nap, and see what today, on my one day off, has planned for us. And now, being at the condo, after coming home this morning and getting a record compared to last week, as my watch told me, only 23 minutes of post-night shift nap, I decided, instead of being restless, tossing and turning in bed, that I just had to get up and do my daily workout. So, getting back on the bike earlier this afternoon to do a nice cardio session once again for about an hour. Then, taking out my adjustable dumbbells to do a quick little arm workout with my Installing Muscles t-shirt on. I broke out the color-coded push-up board and proceeded to do my 100 daily push-ups. And finally, after exhausting myself with this workout, I decided to turn on the television to watch one of my favorite apps that I have on this TV, the one, the only, EarthCam TV. Remembering that today, in New Orleans, they're celebrating Mardi Gras. Hence, as you guys can see, why I got my Mardi Gras beads on. But the fun fact, if you guys didn't know, that these beads are actually from New Orleans when the wife and I did a trip to the southern states several years back. But anyways, back to the EarthCam TV, where I was able to catch several live shots of how Mardi Gras is being celebrated over there in New Orleans. But moving on, flashing back to last week, mainly because we want to catch up on the show before the finale on February 21st, with my cousin Faye later this week inviting us to catch the season ender with her, and we don't want to miss it. So, I'm just about to make my way downtown to pick up the wife after her day shift. Hey. Woohoo! Happy Mardi Gras! Woo. Hey, come on! It's Woo. Time to go! Happy Mardi Gras! Woo! <laughs> and head to 52 to visit my cousin Faye, watch the season finale of Physical 100, and celebrate Mardi Gras slash Fat Tuesday slash Trove Tuesday slash Pancake Tuesday. But first, a stop at Papa John's. Woohoo! Faye, here we come! Hey, Faye! Hi. Happy Mardi Gras! Woo! Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras. Yeah. Mardi Gras Tuesdays? Yeah, Mardi Gras Tuesdays. <laughs> what are you watching ah. without us? Ah. What are you There's doing? A on Yo! Mardi Gras ah. beat! After a fun Mardi Gras time spent with Faye and Edouave, where we had some delicious Papa John's pizza and some homemade pancakes slash mancakes for Pancake Tuesday, made by Chef Edouave himself. 
flip side, flip side. <laughs> as well as watching the finale of Netflix's Physical 100. We got a rhythm on, just like their dog Baloo over here. Putting on a headset to play some VR games. Playing Beat Saber for the first time. Then we headed home to the condo to pass out for the night, waking up early to drive the wife to her day shift downtown, before coming home to check out EarthCam and seeing the aftermath of Mardi Gras left over from last night's festivities in New Orleans. As well as hearing locally about a winter snowstorm set to hit Toronto later tonight. I mean, just look at the progress that this storm has made over the past couple of hours. Anyways, on to today, Ash Wednesday, commemorating the start of the season of Lent, where I usually attend Catholic Mass service to obtain traditional ashes on my forehead, symbolizing a reminder that we come from dust and to dust we shall return. This year, they only had Masses available at early 8 a.m. or later in the evening at 7 p.m. With me already missing the 8 a.m. Mass and the 7 p.m. Mass being at a time where I'll be at work doing my night shift later on, tonight. Speaking of which, after finishing up this afternoon workout that I'm doing right now, and before I go in for my first of my two night shifts set tonight, I have birthday greetings to a beach volleyball friend of mine who I haven't seen since last summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Siraj. Happy birthday, Siraj. And also a birthday shout out to a university classmate of mine who I graduated with in 2009. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Shannon. Happy birthday, Shannon. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So speaking on that previous snowstorm that we had last night, having 35 centimeters of snow expected in a span of 24 hours, with some of these videos taken during my nighttime commute last night, this morning's commute was no joke. And guess who was stuck on the main streets trying to drive onto an unplowed road with the mini. But luckily, going back to when I got this baby, and to the last time I remember using it during a snowstorm, I got my trusty orange shovel out during rush hour traffic, and started to use it to help me get out of all this deep snow that was caused by last night's snowstorm. Anyways, after spending a couple of hours getting in my post-night shift nap this afternoon, I wanted to wish y'all today a happy Jamaican Patty Day. Where earlier I went to the supermarket to buy some Jamaican beef patties that I'm definitely excited to try. Here we go. Oh, it's been so long since I was reunited with you. So good. So good. But honestly, guys, if I wasn't in the middle of several night shifts, I would have gone on a journey to several hotspots here in Toronto that specialize in Jamaican beef patties to try them out and compare them. Something like comparing the beef patties at Warden Station versus the ones at Islington Station, perhaps? But I guess I'll have to wait for another future Live From Last Week episode. But moving on, it's time to go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight. Doing my sixth shift in the span of seven nights. 
finish off this Jamaican beef patty, and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. After finally finishing my sixth shift in the span of seven nights, celebrating by dancing a little bit in the mini this morning, I was so excited because it was my first time in a long while. As you guys can see from this scene from a previous Lab From Last Week episode, of actually having a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. It's Friday again. What? It's Saturday, Sunday. What? In fact, I was so stoked to get my weekend started that I just didn't know what to do. Should I do laundry? Go out for breakfast? Go for a run? Or should I... But unfortunately, I wasn't able to stay asleep today, napping for about 90 minutes before getting up to do a nice hour-long bike session then catching the latest Black Panther movie called Wakanda Forever. And afterwards, the wife and I started watching the Netflix dating show called Perfect Match with all these all-stars from other Netflix shows before going out in this cold temperature weather from a place with a very small and busy parking lot this Friday night to get some takeout sushi for dinner from here at the Victoria Park location of Kibo Sushi. Ooh, this is what $50 gets you in sushi in Scarborough. Beep. Cheers. To torched sushi. So guys, get this. I got invited to go on a top secret mission with one of my Toronto sport fan buddies that you've seen in previous Live From Last Week episodes, Jason, to wake up at a hella early time after only getting a 5 hour sleep last night for him to pick me up from the condo, expecting him to say something like, Gotcha! Happy April Fool's Day! But we actually got to the OVO Athletic Center. Jason, oh, thank yeah. <laughs> Thank you for waking me up so damn early this morning. Okay, it was only like 4 o'clock. <laughs> to take a couple of these Raptors labeled chartered buses, looking just like this inside of them, along with all these goodies and treats to enjoy, and go to a secret location several hours away. Again, I just want to thank Jason Let's go Raptors! for throwing me a last minute invite to check out the Raptors play the Detroit Pistons in Detroit. But moving on to something that actually challenged me for the majority of that long bus ride today, which was this little baby that I bought last night while on my sushi run. I spent several long hours trying to figure out this thing on the way to Detroit before finishing it completely. Well, actually, scratch that, almost finishing it completely. But I can tell you this. I can add this moment to my lifetime bucket list where I accomplished this on the way home while waiting for customs at the Canadian border. 
<laughs> Finished it finally after how many hours? So, like 10 hours. <laughs> 10 hours to solve this freaking thing. <laughs> and also, while we're on the theme of celebrations, I have some birthday greetings to a couple of people that I knew from my university days. The first birthday shout out goes out to you, and uh, happy birthday, and uh, as well as a birthday greeting to a person that I know from my placement back at Brookhaven. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Vicky. Happy birthday, Missy. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So on a day where I woke up to go to two different churches this morning, with the first one being the local St. Therese of the Little Flower at 10.30, before realizing when I got there that the Mass had actually started at 10 a.m. So instead, I headed to the Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish for the 11 a.m. service and actually caught that Sunday Catholic Mass on time. I was also able to catch this scenic video of the Toronto skyline this evening after hearing on the radio that this is the last time this year, until later in the year of course, that the sun will set around 6 p.m. or earlier. So I'm really looking forward to the longer days of sunlight that the next several months will bring. And now, recalling all the fun that I had challenging myself with the Rubik's Cube yesterday, guess who decided to challenge themselves by bringing this said Rubik's Cube on the stationary bike with them and try to solve it while being in the middle of their workout. And guess who was able to complete this challenge of the day for themselves as well. Anyways, after doing my 100 push-ups on my push-up board after I solved that Rubik's Cube, I'm deciding to bring you guys a couple of birthday greetings that we have for today. Starting out with a birthday greeting to a family friend that we had back in our youth days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Stephanie. Happy birthday, Stephanie. As well, we got a birthday shout out to one of my buddies who I haven't seen in a while and was one of my groomsmen at my wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paul. Happy birthday, PK. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Getting up relatively early today, considering that I have a night shift later tonight, I got on the stationary bike once again to do a quick bike workout. But with me completing the challenge of solving a Rubik's Cube while I was on the bike yesterday, with that being a little bit too easy, I decided to put on YouTube a 30 minute spin class to challenge myself today, and boy, did it ever make me sweat. After getting my heart rate up to my peak heart rate zone, doing exercises like this that the instructor was telling us to do, I definitely got in a great morning workout, including using my push-up board to get in 100 or so push-ups once again. But moving on, remembering that we just started and began the season of Lent, where individuals usually give up something for 40 days as a sign of sacrifice, I decided to let go of spending hours aimlessly browsing on Facebook, but instead replacing this time by picking up hobbies that will rather better myself. Including actually memorizing the algorithm and solving the aforementioned Rubik's Cube, and using my library card for the first time in a long while to borrow an online ebook version of a book that I've always wanted to read called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I've also set up a goal for myself to learn some K-pop choreo of the form of the chorus dance part of the New Jeans OMG video, which I'm hoping to practice on my upcoming off days after I finish my two night shifts starting tonight. So, before I go in for work and hopefully not get caught up in this winter snowstorm that we're about to have tonight, we will wrap up this episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.